Hey there, this is Lynette Chandler from TechBasedMarketing.com. This is a follow-up of the previous video, how to share, and actually the right word should be how to host uh, videos privately on your own without having to go through YouTube or any other third-party uh, video sharing because sometimes you want your videos to be for selected people to view only like your customers or your membership site members alright so the first video actually w we went through hosting it yourself which is on your own website and I've got questions about using Amazon S3 now I don't really want to drag this out too long and so I'm gonna jump right ahead and assume you already have an Amazon S3 account if not go to Amazon and find a link to sign up for a S3 account uh, and once I have an S3 account I create buckets and and I use a tool to create buckets and to upload called S3 Fox organizer this is a Firefox plugin um, they are actually also standalone software but um, I find this easy, straightforward, and my browser is always open anyway. So that's what I'm using. You can get this as s3fox.net. Sorry if I repeated that. I can't remember if I told you that. Okay, so once you've got S3 Fox installed uh, as a plugin, it will appear here under Tools, S3 Organizer. You click that. I'm going to close that tab. And from here, uh, it will look a whole lot like an FTP program. Okay, let me try to adjust the screen here so you can actually see. And I'm going to bring up file. Fi this is FileZilla. This is a standard FTP program. And this is F Firefox Organizer. So you see it's nice familiar design so that you won't get too confused. So once you have an S3 account, you actually come in here and you can create uh, new buckets and so on and forth. What I'm going to do right now is I have, if you can see, I have uh, four buckets in here. And what I want to do is uh, save this, the f contents of this folder into the media.techbasemarketing.com bucket. Alright, so I'm going to double click to open that and it will show me all the other things that are inside there. And I've got other videos in here too. Um, and I'm going to put it inside the video folder. And then I'm going to move up one, one level up and I'm simply going to select that IMTS001 folder and click upload. And then it will ask me upload and set custom headers, uh, upload and add this uh, to synchronize for the I'm just going to click upload. So I will let it do its work and I'm going to jump back to my website and it's going to be the same thing all over again. Uh, let me see here. Oops, that was in. Okay, I'm going to pull up again. If you haven't watched the first video, I really suggest you go to and I'm going to copy that code again and this is generated for Camtasia for me. Copy that code and paste it back in my WordPress page. Now, the only thing different here uh, compared to the first one is that instead of my own website and my own folder URL, I need to change this to the URL of the Amazon bucket. So. Um, all right, so now it's all finished uploading and it will tell you right here at the bottom uh, that it's complete. You will see this folder. Now, if you don't see it, just hit refresh. Okay, we're probably out of screen. Refresh right here, these two little round uh, orange uh, arrows and it will come up here. And just like FTP program, you double click to open it. Now, what you need to do before you can start sharing this thing is you need to make these files shareable so um, they've got so many here I've got so many video files I'm just not gonna worry about it and I don't need that file so I'm gonna delete that okay so I'm just gonna select everything right click on it and select this edit ACL and I want everyone to be able to read it okay so I'm gonna select those two 
and then click OK. And then um, all the permissions are correct. So once again, I need the URL to this file. Right click, copy URL to clipboard. Um, oops. Right click, copy URL to cl clipboard. And then move on back over here where I have this URL here. I'm going to delete that and then paste the URL to the video here. All right. Now, since I already have this front, this is what I really, really need to do the rest. I'm going to copy that part and change it over here to Okay, paste. And where's the other place? Okay, the first frame video. And paste. And I'm good to go. I'm going to save this. And now when I view the page, there you have it. And the video starts playing. So there you go. Simple as that hosting your own videos or sharing hosting it on Amazon S3 like I said it's a whole lot easier if you have the codes already generated for you the player already done definitely go that route if you can that would be it for this video and come talk to me once in a while alright techbasedmarketing.com forward slash blog and I'll see you there soon